Moderna. <coughs> if you look at one year ago, you know, we're almost in October, you know, we're, what, we're, it's the 27th. So in this area right here, we say the 28th, we're at 69, 69, just to put things in perspective. Look at the money this company has made in just the last year. Earnings, I don't know, I can't really see right here. Earnings, I still can't see. Whatever the earnings were right there, the low is blocking it, I can't see it. But then negative 69 cents to $2.84 to $6.46 earnings per share. Yeah, I would say the virus has done quite well for Moderna. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, we're, it looks like we're in another little squeeze. Um, we're in our trading range basically from 465 to 407. And mind you, just, it was, wasn't very long ago that we retested down here, what, eight, what the beginning of the month. Well, September flew by. Um, yeah, wow, that was really fast. If we hold some footing, if the market, uh, uh, up, up, and away. I don't really see anything else to say. As long as the virus is out. And then I just read the news this morning. Well, the news was over here. You can't see it. That they're predicting that the booster shot is going to be like the flu shot. Um, it's going to be annual. So if Moderna is one of the top players with an annual drug and with Pfizer, well, then that's like a guarantee just, you know, printing money machine from now until forever. So uh, if we can get above this 438, which you know, we were above Thursday, and if we can get above this this 50 percent of this right of this not of the other ones because we're our we we got we just touched touched the this movement right here where the 100 percent was at 363 um we just touched that 168 so we could come back down to the 404 but like i said we just bounced off of there i see a higher probability of maybe the 417 if we drop at all uh maybe going above the 438 and let's go higher up to next target would be the 100% of this, which would be 528. Pfizer, what a disappointment, man. What a disappointment. Uh, when, uh, in August 16th, man, what a... It, I mean, it, it blew all the way up to 51, looking great. And what goes up must come down. Um... Yeah, I'm. I don't like the movement. We're starting to find some support in this general vicinity over here. Um, if we can hold that 43, which is the seven eight six of the longer trend, uh, then yeah, I'm a. I'd be a buyer, but I'm. I'm, mm -mm. I'm not like gun ho woohoo with this one. Uh, Merck. All right, well, we had had some trouble. We we had been in the range for quite some. Well, no, literally, we're still. I mean, we were in this range, more of the short term range, broke out a little bit, and then break out, fake out, and went all the way down to the bottom of the larger range, starting from May to June. Uh, went below just a little bit, but it looks like we're starting to retrace retrace back. If you remember. What was it last week or whatever? We drew another extension down. Um, we didn't quite quite get to the thirty eight. Uh, this was last week, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, looks like we're coming back, but I'd be very careful. The seventy four. This, uh, I mean, it didn't react pretty nice with that. Uh, if we can't hold really the seventy three. Look for maybe even coming back down and really testing the 7038 down to the 6848. 
really has to do if we can hold our 73 or not. Well, really 7189. United Healthcare or Health Group, excuse me. Be easy with this one. Um Yeah, we're we're still just in a in a nasty range. We like if you look at it, when was this? This is July seventh. Is we have touched this one two seven one two three four five five times, uh, and then a little bit higher. We've touched it numerous more times. So this general vicinity right here be easy. Uh, if we can hold it though, look for a break of the thirty one right. As long as we kind of hold this general line right here, this one two seven of you know where is it. 404 give or take if we can hold this then i see a nice pop and breakout of this initial high right here of 423 up to 431 wow wow look at astrazeneca huge volume that's looking great man um yeah we missed that all the way one two three four five starting monday all right i'm i if, hey I'm, i think i might have i don't even remember what i said last week but my goodness we popped up that's a beautiful beautiful pop now i wouldn't I'd be easy. I'm gonna pull back down to the 59 area, and if it if this isn't a fluke, then man, up to 65. Let's go, AstraZeneca. Right? Let's see uh, the year. Yeah. See, this was uh. What was this? 2020. So yeah, the year passed. That's why it's not there anymore. But we look like if, like I said, if we can break above this sixty-one oh five, then we are poised to take out the sixty-four ninety-four. Which, woo, let's go. Johnson and Johnson, ah. This is difficult. I, I just don't. I mean, we're in like a more of a kind of short term squeeze. It looks like we're kind of trending lower. I mean, we, we were low when we popped up. We, But I, I, I would kind of stay away from this. It looks more like it wants to head down to the 6160. Um, but again, the market, if the market switches, this could remember how I've been saying. For the last two weeks, you know, the market could drag everything down. Well, the market could have turned and drag everything back up now. So just keep that in mind. But this, it doesn't, doesn't look promising. ABBV. Um, yeah, we're, we're just hugging this line. Um, again, if you are aggressive, I would buy right here and and you know where to get out which would be the 106 but yeah that's that would just be if you're really aggressive if not i would, I would want to see it kind of maybe take out the 108 and then hold the 110 you know which you i mean you already missed three points but then on our way back up i'm not a hundred percent sure that i would really want to say that this is just out of the blue changed everything and wants to go higher so just be careful this could get really ugly if the the selling continues oh wow sarepta therapeutics just going on its ride man it's constantly going higher this last week one two three four five we're still on we're just on a tear from 78 we're all the way up to 90 this looks good Maybe a quick little pullback, but then up, up, and away. Uh, maybe back down to, no, I literally say 
If our biggest challenge will be right here, the 103. If we can take that 103, then it's up, up, and away. Really, let's say right there. It's kind of this would be next target right here. Yeah, Bristol Myers looks like we are on our way down to this teal line to the 58. Gilead still in a nice, like pretty large range. Um, until it can kind of pick a direction, I'm I'm staying away. So I would guess Sarepta is the best looking. 